we'll start with the fundamentals because why not so the what and why is are very important what is salesforce why does it exist what does it do why does it do all of these questions need to be addressed first for someone who's very new who's fairly new to the market or who's directly jumped into a project just because a resource has had to be replaced they don't know about it you don't know about it it's important to know about these kind of things it 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 helps you in the foundation right so salesforce is a crm now we know we are here because we want to be salesforce developers but do we know what is a crm a crm which stands for customer relationship management it's nothing but a tool that helps customers increase their revenues through any kind of tools that the platform provides and through automation right today everything is digitized everything is on the cloud everything involves making more money right everything involves automation with with the advent of uh, gpt right everything is looking at automation very differently right any kind of menial jobs any kind of things that can be done by a bot or a robot or a digital bot are automated right what does that help with that helps with reducing the time to deliver reducing the time to market right so if i'm solving a problem for you by saving your time or by saving your money that's what a business wants right so ideally customers want to save their time or they want to save their money right and that's the two important things that a tool should provide and that's where crm tools come into the picture salesforce is one of them it's a customer relationship management tool all right and it's not just a customer relationship management tool it is the number one crm in the marketplace currently it has been leading for the past few years and it is still the number one crm in the marketplace it is vastly adapted across the world not just specific regions because it has this cloud based architecture we'll talk about the architecture and subscription based license model right so just how you pay for let's say netflix you pay a premium you pay for spotify you pay for amazon prime even salesforce comes with a subscription based license model that's how you that's how salesforce earns we'll understand that license model also all right now salesforce being a crm tool offers various clouds we'll understand what cloud is okay and it offers these offerings based on customer needs let's say you need sales cloud for your sales business take sales cloud offering marketing cloud commerce cloud experience cloud health cloud commerce b2c b2b service cloud all of these are available as offerings you can choose whatever you want for your business and you can you can you can pick and you can use that all right so that was about the what and why a bit more about salesforce we all maybe working as salesforce administrators developers architects or not working at all or looking to switch to salesforce where is salesforce located like where 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 are the headquarters they are in san francisco california that's in the us right and it is a publicly listed company on the new york stock exchange and it is listed as crm all right and it is currently the number 1 crm in the industry what database does salesforce use or what is it powered by it is powered by oracle the database behind the scenes where the actual data is kept and stored is handled and managed by oracle all right it is on the cloud based architecture a cloud based architecture we'll talk about it what cloud based architecture is okay but understand that cloud means somewhere distant from your home right somewhere high above the sky right somewhere some some of a some somewhat a black box or a silver box with a lining right that's that's the architecture that salesforce follows you don't have to keep things locally available at your place it will be somewhere available made available for you and you can use it it has its in house server side programming language which is called apex apex is java like if you know java you will be very comfortable in transitioning into apex if you do not don't worry this particular master class is also for you right so salesforce has its in house server side language it does not rely on the open source platforms or open source libraries or open source development frameworks it has its own proprietary language that's called apex you should know apex to write server code and it works on the pay as you go model similar to the subscription what we talked about right license based model today you want to onboard 15 users okay pay me license cost for 15 users use salesforce 
tomorrow you have 150 okay pay me for 150 let each user log in and pay and that is how salesforce will earn oh you are downgrading your business to 30 users only all right pay me just for the 30 users and those 30 users can still use salesforce that's how the pay as you go model works all right Thank <music> you.